is episode 75 of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be getting back to work on the second level of the the storage item sorting system. Um, yeah, I kind of um, did a little bit of damage to this one, as you can quite see. Uh, I'll take you downstairs and I'll explain what I've done. So, down we go. Oh, we got to get a new pick. My pick just broke. So, we've got to go do that too. Um, so I used TNT to obviously blow out most of this room. I filled in, this is where the um, ravine is. Obviously you can see the crack right through, we'll just fill it up with cobblestone. Um, and as I was using TNT, as you can imagine, I've kind of done a little bit of damage to the, um, the item storage system, the first level. Let's just call it the first level. So I've done a little bit of damage to that, which is kind of going to be a pain in the bum if you ask me. Uh, so no chests or no hoppers were damaged or no redstone. Only thing, all the item frames have come off the wall and sort of got sucked into the... Yeah, so it sort of just sort of blows up and then the item spits out and the frame goes in. So it's sort of like gone into different chests and... Oh man, what a pain in the backside, seriously. So yeah, I'll be fixing this up later. I think first off... Where is the oak wood? Oh, oh, there we go. There we got some get some oak wood. Fix that up immediately. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Let's just fix this floor up because now my luck, I'll fall right through it. Splat. So yeah, that well, it is my fault. That's what you get from working so close to this structure. Alright, that's better. Oh, that looks so naked without the item frames on the side. I'm gonna, I'll fix that up later. That, it's not a huge deal, but it's going to be a pain in the backside trying to find items in the storage room at the moment. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Um, mm, mm. Okay, so first off, we need to try and put more crap on. Oh, that's full. Um, damn it. That's full. Just back here. There we go. So put this away. I've made some ladders so we could get it up and down really easily. Put my sword back where it's meant to be. Uh, we'll get some torches. Um, we'll go downstairs, grab a pick. Um, I've got some junk sitting downstairs, so we'll quickly go down to the mine shaft, pick up some, um, pick up a new pick. I caught. I store all my shovels and picks down there lately because I've just been mining like crazy. Get getting prepared for the next big build which is the, the huge watermelon farm. Uh, that should be coming up very soon because, yeah, after the Renault, a little bit, this, this, this storage system's done, we'll probably look for a spot and start preparing to build this massive watermelon farm. Um, yeah, so the mine shaft is getting bigger and bigger every time. Um, it, I don't even think you can see the other end right now. I've got... As I've told people, I've got slits going up to the ceilings to get rid of the void fog. Yeah, I thought so. You can't even see to the other end of my mine shaft right now. <laughs> That's bloody ridiculous. Some of these slits go for hundreds of blocks. Some of the slits go for thousands of blocks. So, yeah. All right, let's go over here and the void fog will come back. I hate this void fog. It's horrible. So run down here. All these chests need to be sorted out. Um, yeah, I've been mining, as I said, mining like crazy right now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's, there's tons of crap to sort out. Um, we'll grab a stack of these. Um, top up my chicken while I'm here. And what pick we got? Oh, that one will do. We won't use a good fortune one. Um, so we got a new pick. We can leave the TNT down here now for my mining operations. And now we can go upstairs. And we can get started on putting some of the, the chests down and such. I hear a nasty. Yeah, so if, you know, a lot of people have seen my mine shaft, but uh, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Eventually, I think it's about 200 blocks down. I'm not 100% sure, but it's, yeah, it's 200 blocks down. All right, let's head back. Head back up the top and start building. Got to get this job done. All right, up we go. All right, 
I've learnt my lesson from that. Alright. So eventually I want to rip out the center here and I want to put the lavas back on, put lavas on the wall and have a different way to get down my mine shaft eventually. I'm kind of getting sick of this, this, this mine cart system. I have to change it up eventually. Hello Quagmire. Poor old Quag. I don't want to let him go and walk around the, the base because I, I, I've, I fear that he's just going to run out the door and go protect those villages and the breeding cells down there, which would be really... Really bad. Okay. Eat some yummy chicken. Brand new pick. Um, I don't even know what to start on first. Okay. First things first, we're going to need hoppers. We're going to need chests. Um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a stab at it. Up. Oh, that's TNT. That's light sensor. Tracks. This is all the tracks. Hey, I already had ladders. What have I made more? Oh, great. Oh, well, it serves me right. Okay, there we go. So we're going to grab some... We're going to grab two stacks of normal chests. And we're going to grab two stacks of trap chests. And while we're here, let's just put these ones back in, back on. Okay, so... Put this up here. Grab some trap chests. That's not meant to go like that. You're meant to go in the frame, like that. <laughs> Alright, so that's trap chests. Let's get out this bad boy here. Do the same thing. Again. Aim better data. Stand closer. There we go. Okay, so trap chests and that chest are done now. Um, hoppers. Hoppers. Oh, man. It's on this side. It's around here. Oh, score. That was... Good. Um, we'll take four stacks of these for now. And we'll also put the item frame back up. Right, we're here as well. Oh, I keep doing that. Wait, give me that back. Poof. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll come back through later and put every single item frame back on. Oh, man, that's going to be such a pain. Okay, let's get started. We need to get this job started. Oh, we need some oak wood too. Paint in the back side. Let's put that on. It's this one here. And one log. So that means all these must be the logs, yeah. Alright. One stack will do fine for now. Actually, let's get another stack. There we go. Just so we don't have to come up and down, up and down like a Fruit Loop. I love Fruit Loops. Hmm. Okay, so get rid of these little bits here. Oh, I forgot to mine. That's right, this is where my pick broke. Right here. This is where my pick broke. There we go. Stupid thingamajig. Okay, so... This is going to be the center. Now we need to work out where everything's going to sit. Um, hmm, okay, let me, let me count. I'm going to try to get it in line. So from this from this block, he said one, two, three, four, and then five. So five blocks from the there, and then it starts because I'm going to get in line because I want to put some glass in here too, so you could look down and see the other the level and remember we're moving all this because this is going to be stairway so obviously it's got to start a little bit later so five blocks then we start from the ladder all right so that's one two three four five so what on the six blocks what do oh, whatever just start there there we go so same again just marking out at the moment. So this is the floor. Nice pretty floor. And there we go. Alright. Yep. It's in line. It's in line. Perfect. So first things first. Don't knock out too many torches, Data. We're going to have a big situation. So we don't need my shovel right now. Put that there. There we go. So first things first. We're going to just put the center in. I always start with the center first, and then we work out from there. 
both sides. The floor doesn't matter. We can do the floor later. Save some time. So one, two, three. There we go. Run all the way back down. This is why I brought plenty of wood. Blum, 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 blum. Okay, all right. So now we pretty much go normal chest, trap chest, normal chest, trap chest. See, some people still don't know about this, you know, trap chest, normal chest. They can sit right next to each other, and you still get the question of how how do you do that? And yeah, if you go watch previous episodes, I guarantee you'll find people wanting to know how to do that. So just circulate through all this so they sit right next to each other I've got to remember how to do this it's been a while since I've built this storage system it's been quite a while actually so nice and calm all the way down I definitely remember there's only three storage chests at the back oh whoops stuffed up there oh, again it's a normal chest data it's not a trap chest there we go so look on this side, it's a normal chest, so start with a normal, same thing, all the way back. This may take a little while, <laughs> there are, wow, I wonder, wonder how much storage I can store now with all these, with this second level being here, I'll have to calculate it all so I can see how much space I have total. So all these chests are left over from the sugarcane farm, which we just recently built. That has a mil... Like, if it's backed up, not not if it's just the chests are full. If it's backed up in the hoppers, over a million storage right there. Which is kind of insane. There we go. So that is in. Okay, so I do remember... We've got to come out by three from here. There needs to be a gap, so... Maybe I should just double check. Nah, nah. I, I remember. I remember. So it comes out by three. One, two, three. Let's just build one of them at the moment. So we come out by three. We come out by three. What, what was this? A normal chest, so. Normal chest. Stock that. No, man. So, and it came out like that. We need some scaffolding now. And. And far as I know. It was on the end here as well, so place like that. Hold shift. Get back up here. And again, back like that. There's only three, so... And then again like that. It sh that should be it. That is the storage, so... You know, I forgot... I have to go back up there anyway. Forgot lamps. Forgot the lamps, and we got to find the lamps. Oh, data, 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 data. The lamps are really far down here. There's the glowstone, there's the pistons, droppers, hoppers, buttons, levers, and there's heaps of junk. Pressure plates, trap doors, and bars, and walls, and snow, snow walls? Glass, and oh man, I gotta fix all this up later. Pain in my backside. So maybe it was next to the glowstone. Oh, it was next to the glowstone. You fruit loop. So we'll grab a stack. Of, we'll, we'll grab a couple stacks of those. We'll grab three stacks of those. Data. This is how your inventory gets clogged. And we need a couple of snacks of redstone um, comparators for now. Um, and we need a couple stacks of redstone. Um, there. Couple stacks. We'll put some uh, uh, the junk like this, and this, and this away, and we'll keep going. I just want to build one and make sure it's all right. So we need to get this out, and we go here up by one, and we build this up like that. We can get rid of that like that. We build this up by another. And I think we went up and one out. No, no, no. The one out was the the redstone lamp. Okay. And then we get our comparator and we we replace the lamp for now. And then 
we hook it up. Was it correct? That doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. Because normally it sits there like that, but it's meant to run off the hopper build up. Okay, I have to look at the top. I'm confusing myself here. It's been a while since I've built one of these things. Alright, I'm going to strip you off. Girl, I need to have a quick squeeze of your underbelly. I thought I was doing it right. Well, don't break the don't break the chest. Whatever you do, you'll have crap go everywhere. Okay. So it was one down, powering that, powering that. Okay. Mm. I'll strip the rest of her off. Just so I can look under her skirt. Yeah, so it's three system as I thought. We went out by three, was it correct? Yep, so one, two, three. Then we went up, back. Yep, okay, and yeah, we've got to build the, the sorting machine later on. We're just building the storage system today. We'll see how much work we can get done. But that's all good. Let's cut right out of this. We can fix it up later. Um, so, yeah, there's one gap there. Okay, let's go see what we've um, done wrong. Whoa, where's the ladder at? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's what I've done wrong. Look, I've made it way too high. Far out, I almost got that right. Almost. Sometimes even me, I forget stuff. Okay. There we go. I knew it didn't look right straight off the bat. Then we have that there. Break that. Replace that. With that there, so this is the indicator light to it will flash when it's been stuff has been sorted in. Also, it will stay on permanently when the entire system's almost full. Because what actually happens is so you know, say that chest is full of redstone, it backs up through the hoppers, so you've got all that to store, backs up into this chest here, that falls right up, backs up into this chest, that fills up. Once it starts to back up and fill this hopper up, that means this light will constantly stay on warning you that it's on the last chest now and you really really need to start emptying it out because if it clogs back up into the main system oh wow are you gonna have some mess on your hands but that's pretty much it so you see how basic this storage room is yes it's very huge and lots of resources but it's cool it's been my storage system for ages and we're gonna build it um, now the reason why you have this block here is because if you had a comparator powering straight into a redstone lamp, I'm pretty sure that it will power its nearest neighbor. And how you counteract that is you just power this block, and then which will power that block, but won't power its near, nearest neighbor. See, that's exactly why that block is there. Quite simple. See how easy that is? <laughs> Okay, so yes, this is just the storage. So we can three and a half chest storage system right here, full of whatever you like, and then you put your item frame there. So the best thing to build this is is start on one by one. So first off, we're going to put every single hopper on the bottom. So which is come out by three, like this, all the way until the ends. So yeah, you just do it in sections like this and you can get it done way quicker. So once you've once we've done this, we'll start on the chests. And then once we've done the chests, we can move on to the other side. And we've just you gotta always make sure your your hopper is facing the wrong way or else the entire system will can be get, get screwed up, you know? Which is really bad. So always keep an eye on that you're placing it the right way. Ugh, give me the back up! You stupid Fruit loop, now there's poppers in the line somewhere. So yeah, I wouldn't build this unless you had some monster iron supply, you know, an iron farm or something, or or you mine as just as much as I do. Come on, I mine a lot. You sit down, put on some movies, mine for a few hours, get lots. We're almost there. I hope I have enough iron. As I said, this all this is all this iron, all these hoppers and chests are actually left over from the the monster storage system we built over at the sugarcane farm that holds a million million pieces of sugarcane. I can't wait till I get to that. Get rid of that. Okay, so we come right to the end. Quite simple. Now we start on the chests. Trap chest, normal chest, trap chest, normal chest. We do that all the way along. So we need to get up. Just 
grab on the edge here. Um, what was that one? I think that was a normal chest. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It won't let me put it down, see? So we need to put trap chest, normal chest, all the way along. So now with this second floor, I don't think we ever need a third floor on this on my on this base, to be honest. I think this will be it. This will be it. What we're building now should be the last level of the storage system. And yeah. We've got to go take a look at something in a second. As soon as I've done this row, we'll go take a look at something. I just want to have a quick squeeze. So this is exactly why we built the room so high, because people wouldn't have thought of that. They would have just started low and didn't realise they had to. You would have to dig this out, and it would have interfered with the the top floor. And yeah, no, no, that would have been bad. Whoop! Last one. Bang bang. So, what what, what am I glitching on? I hate that. Okay, so we will put hoppers all along here now. All the way back. Oh man, it's a lot of hoppers. Back, back. So I've been preparing for the uh, watermelon farm. I, I've got a rough idea how we're going to build it. It's probably not going to look all that pretty, but it should produce quite a lot. Um, I'm thinking we have to match or beat the storage room in the sugarcane farm. So if that has a million, we have to match it. It's, so we've got to have a million pieces of... I'm on the million roll right now. Come on. I love having storage systems that can hold a million. So I'm thinking million plus for, for watermelon. <laughs> Some people will call me crazy. Okay, so what I wanted to look at is something. Because that's another thing we've got to figure out. Is how are we going to connect this one to the other one? Oh, ah, that's easy. So... Pretty much what we just do is we remove all these hoppers and we just make and this this is technically the overflow or these are items that do not get filtered you know this is just miscellaneous stuff that I haven't added yet so remember we're removing the miscellaneous somewhere else so we just have these hoppers pretty much drop down into the second row which will be this drop down into a filter which will go all the way around just in a giant loop and technically then we got to put the miscellaneous down here somewhere. <laughs> Wow, the item has to travel so far. That's a lot of filtering right there. That's amazing. Where's my chicken at? Okay, so let's finish this off. Let's, we're almost done. We're almost done this. I've got to do the other side later. So, And uh, probably next episode we'll just finish everything off. Um, yeah, because we're not going to get everything done in this episode. Boom, boom, boom. I might run out of chests. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Oh man. How much more to go? Alright, we have to go upstairs and get some more. Yeah, we definitely do. So, yeah, as I was thinking, if I could put some a glass floor to see down into the second level, that would look pretty cool. I don't know what it would look like. I think, in my head, it looks cool. But, yeah, you never know. It could look ugly, and I won't bother doing it. So, let's quickly go to some, grab a couple more stacks of chests. So, a couple stacks of trap chests. We might run out of chests. Got hoppers. Got plenty of those. It's all good. Can cut down another forest if we need to. Okay. How cool does the chest look when it starts to stack up like a staircase like that? <laughs> I reckon it looks awesome. Okay, so we keep going. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Just want to get this done. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the, the watermelon farm. It's going to be an interesting build, but it's going to require at least a thousand piece of iron just for pistons and stuff. I'd rather have too much pistons that are not enough and go back to mining. So, yeah. And then we need to put hoppers all the way along here. 
Yeah, so location, 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 that's going to be the key because the watermelon farm is obviously going to be huge and laggy for some people when they download my world when it's done. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. So it's going to be like the, pretty much it's going to be like building the sugarcane farm, you know, way away. We're not building it underground. It's not going to be a water, a watermelon facility like that one. And then, last one, last row, and we have done the top piece. But yeah, no, so, watermelon farm, I'm looking forward to it, but yeah, I don't have a thousand pieces of um, iron just yet. I have been mining, so straight after this I'll probably get back to mining, because I'm, I'm delaying the inevitable, building the next monstrous farm. So it's going to be a massive sink bowl. I've I've designed a, a watermelon farm that's flush with the floor. So that means it's under the floor and it shoots out of half slabs into a, a giant sink bowl. I think it's going to be cool and maybe unique. I don't think other YouTubers have done that yet. So we'll see, we'll see. It could change, don't get me wrong. It could change. And people are going to be puzzled like, Data, how did you do that? Easy. I stumbled on it when I was when I was trying to come up with a design for a watermelon farm, and bam, there we go. That's one side done because I'm pretty sure you have the you. I'm pretty sure for the for the actual um, the redstone part of it. The, ouch! So we go up by two, and then you come. You know, you go up by one, and you come out, and then you run the strip. Um, Let's, let's build a little thing to get up there. There we go. There. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly check that. Because I'm pretty sure it comes up by one like this. That's how it flows in. And you go out by one like that. Or is it one or is it two? So I'm pretty sure the, fil the, the filtering redstone part of it, it goes like that. Because a redstone torch sits here, which powers that, and then it runs the second one up will be the the filter itself. The third one was just a pipe. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. I'm kind of getting excited. I can't wait till this is done. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the. I'm not gonna sure when I'm where when or where I'm going to move the automatic unloading system I had for my mine shaft. Um. Because the my, my mine shaft is getting deep right now, I'm thinking of moving it further, deeper into the mine shaft itself. That's what I was coming out the back to have a quick squiz at the circuitry of my the sort the filter system. Break this, break that. Make sure I'm getting everything right. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Went up by one. Yeah, I remembered that correctly. Just a hell of a lot of comparators, and that's the filter itself. So for that one would be gold. You could actually just put snowballs along here and just have gold there, but yeah, whatever. And then that top bit's just the pipe, so yeah. Quite simple, quite easy. All right. So I think we'll start on the redstone in the next episode. If we did that, it would be another 20 minutes worth of build time right there, so. And people don't, people don't like the long, well, some people like long episodes, some people say day to keep it short. So I'm trying to, you know, keep it about 30 minutes, but also keep it, you know, keep it in the, yeah, try keep it the 30 minute mark, because you know me, I'm usually, my let's plays go from 45 to an hour plus long. <laughs> I think we're going to call this episode here, we got a bunch of work done, all I'm going to do, probably for the rest of the afternoon, I'm going to pretty much build the other side, because you watched me build one side already, I don't think you want to watch me build another side, so I'm going to build that side over there, I'm going to go pull more hoppers out, more more chests, and going to build that side. Next episode, we'll get the redstone done and probably the stairs done going up. And, oh, decoration I could do later on. That's all good. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how much time we have on our hands. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode... What, what number are we up to? I forgot. 75. Far out. Right, we're really moving along. I, I quite enjoy doing these... Um, what, what, mini episodes between major builds? I don't know. <laughs> plenty to do, plenty to do. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 75, and join me for episode 76. I'll catch you all later.